Throughout human history, the moon has fascinated us, sparking our curiosity. However, it wasn't until 1969 that people landed on the moon. In the last 50 years, we focused more on projects like the International Space Station and missions to Mars, leaving the moon somewhat neglected. Now, NASA is changing that by aiming to build a lasting home on the moon. This lunar base is a massive project, costing $93 billion and taking many years to finish. What's behind this newfound interest in the moon? And what exciting things can we anticipate from a permanent base? Stay tuned as we explore these questions on superstructures. Exploring the moon might seem like a distant and costly venture, but it holds incredible potential for humanity. The moon is rich in resources such as water and minerals, making it a valuable hub for future solar system exploration. Additionally, its low gravity and absence of atmosphere make it an excellent environment for research and development. However, the hurdles of constructing and maintaining a lunar base are significant, including extreme temperatures and the hazards of space radiation. Now, let's delve into the specifics of NASA's ambitious plan, the Artemis program, set to return humans to the moon by 2025. NASA's commitment to returning to the moon through the Artemis program is driven by a renewed focus on scientific exploration, economic initiatives, and inspiring future generations. Beyond planting the American flag once again, the agency aims to create a sustainable presence that acts as a launching pad for more extensive space exploration. Unlike past missions, NASA emphasizes global collaboration, seeking a multinational alliance for enhanced cooperation and knowledge sharing in the realm of space exploration. A pivotal component of the Artemis program is the establishment of an Artemis base camp on the lunar surface. This camp will serve as a central hub for scientific activities, enabling robots and astronauts to conduct unique research and experiments in the moon's distinctive environment. The lunar surface presents a multitude of scientific opportunities, ranging from studying lunar geology to testing crucial technologies for future deep space missions. Alongside the Artemis Base Camp, the Gateway, a lunar orbiting outpost, complements these scientific endeavors. Acting as a staging point for lunar operations, the Gateway facilitates communication between Earth and the lunar surface, allowing efficient transportation of astronauts and cargo. Its modular design provides flexibility for various missions and partnerships, emphasizing the collaborative aspect of the Artemis program. Despite the optimism surrounding Artemis, it's crucial to consider the historical context of lunar exploration and the challenges faced by previous missions. The iconic Apollo missions, spanning from Apollo 11 to 17, achieved significant milestones but were discontinued after Apollo 17 in 1972 due to budget constraints shifting political priorities, and waning public interest. These historical lessons underscore the importance of sustained funding, bipartisan support, and effective communication to ensure the longevity and success of contemporary lunar programs. A previous unsuccessful attempt to return to the moon was NASA's Constellation program, launched in the mid-2000s. The ambitious initiative sought to develop new spacecraft, including the Ares-1 and Ares-5 rockets with the goal of returning astronauts to the moon by the 2020s. Unfortunately, the Constellation program encountered technological and budgetary challenges, ultimately leading to its cancellation in 2010 under the Obama administration. This setback underscores the vulnerability of long-term space exploration initiatives in the face of evolving political landscapes and financial constraints. Now with the Artemis program, how does NASA plan to navigate these challenges and ensure the success of this extensive lunar project? NASA is embracing innovative technologies like 3D printing in collaboration with AI Space Factory for the upcoming Artemis mission. While 3D printing technology showed promise a decade ago but faced limitations, recent advancements have transformed the materials used in the process. Initially limited to plastics, 3D printing can now create structures using substances like concrete and metal, resulting in stronger final products. NASA is intrigued by these developments especially in the realm of construction possibilities. AI Space Factory is entrusted with building a state-of-the-art 3D-printed lunar base camp, named LENA, designed to accommodate astronauts and robots during the mission. This multifunctional lunar bunker will provide essential facilities such as astromobiles, telecommunication devices, habitation modules, and more. 
Its primary goal is to protect occupants from lunar challenges like radiation, seismic activity, extreme temperature variations, and meteorites. Additionally, the base will incorporate a photovoltaic tree for harnessing solar energy. The construction material for the lunar bunker is a result of the collaboration between AI Space Factory and NASA's Granular Mechanics and Regolith Operations Laboratory. To ensure its suitability for the lunar environment, the material underwent validation through vacuum testing and static extrusion experiments. The LENA base, designed by AI Space Factory, is intended to accommodate astronauts for extended periods and will be constructed by autonomous robots. Consisting of three units, each covering 75 square meters and a communal courtyard measuring 90 square meters, the base is strategically positioned at the lunar south pole, known as the peak of eternal light, to benefit from constant solar radiation. Plans also include collecting ice from a nearby shaded crater. The Lena Lunar Bunker is designed to endure for at least 50 years, providing protection against solar and cosmic radiation. Its lunar regolith covering acts as a shield against micrometeorites, lunar earthquakes, radiation, and extreme thermal conditions. The prototype is currently in production at the Kennedy Space Center, replicating the environmental conditions of the upcoming mission area with temperatures ranging from negative 170 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. The AI Space Factory design team underscores the significance of Lena, considering it an architectural and technological milestone that sets a precedent for future explorations beyond our moon. The incorporation of regolith, a loose lunar rock, holds promise for sustainable 3D printing in future extraterrestrial endeavors, as recognized by NASA scientists exploring innovative construction methods for other planets or satellites like our moon. However, like many other massive projects with hefty price tags, Artemis has not been without its share of criticisms and challenges. Despite NASA and its partners making strides with the Artemis missions, they are grappling with significant hurdles. The Human Landing System program aims to wrap up its developments in 79 months, 13 months less than NASA's average for major projects. Given the intricacies of human space flight, expecting more than a year's speedup seems impractical. If aligned with the usual project timeline, the Artemis mission could potentially take place in early 2027, as per the Government Accountability Office's findings. As of September 2023, the Human Landing System program encountered delays in 8 out of 13 critical events, pushing some to 2025, the launch year. Issues arose in part due to the orbital flight test delayed by 7 months and terminated early when the vehicle deviated from its intended path. Successive tests hinge on the completion of a second orbital test flight. SpaceX, which is supporting NASA on this project, faces a substantial workload, including developing propellant storage and transfer capabilities in orbit. Progress on the technology supporting this aspect of the lunar landing mission has been limited, as documented by NASA. Axiom, in adapting NASA's previous work for modernized spacesuits, still grapples with design challenges prompting potential redesigns and delivery delays. NASA has devised steps to assess SpaceX's and Axiom systems for mission suitability and crew safety by employing a supplemental evaluation process. Contracting includes inside clauses to maintain visibility into development aspects, ensuring alignment with Artemis III mission objectives and crew safety. This extends to commercial endeavors like SpaceX's activities preceding the orbital test flight. To make matters worse, there's the challenge of securing the $93 billion required for the project. The Government Accountability Office suggests that, to meet the December 2025 Artemis mission deadline, NASA must develop, acquire, and integrate various new systems. This includes crew transport to the lunar surface and spacesuits, with NASA adopting an innovative approach for acquisition to enhance affordability and innovation. Considering the complexities, do you think NASA's efforts to expedite the Artemis mission are on the right track? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Superstructures for more exciting updates like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one!